In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to launch Zoom, create a new meeting and send out an invite to someone you want to speak to in an online Zoom meeting. You launch Zoom, the app, just like any other app on your computer. Go to the Start button in the bottom left hand corner of your computer screen. Click the Start button to show your Start menu. Take a look in the most used section of the Start panel. If you're lucky, Zoom might be there. Click on it if it is. If it's not, put your cursor on the dynamic scroll bar on the right of the apps list, then scroll down, all the way down to Z. There's the Zoom folder. To the right, a small triangle. I'll click on that to expand, and there's the Start Zoom button. I'll click on it to launch Zoom. If you're not currently signed into Zoom, you'll need to do that now. In the Zoom panel, click the Sign In button. You don't want to click the Join a Meeting button. You want to start a meeting and invite others. So click Sign In, and that takes me to the Sign In panel. I need to enter the email address I used when I signed up for my Zoom account in the first instance. Then enter your password. Be careful. This is the password you set up when you set up your Zoom account. It is not the password you may need to use to access your email account. So I'll enter the password I created when I set up my Zoom account. I prefer to sign in with the password I set up in Zoom. I think it's more secure than signing in with the Google or Facebook logins. So I'll click the sign in button and that takes us into the Zoom dashboard. OK, what I want to focus on are these four main buttons over towards the left. And the only thing I need to do to start a new meeting is to click once on the new meeting button. Simple as that. Now, provided that your webcam is switched on and working, you should see yourself on a screen in a Zoom meeting window. You should get a join with audio dialog box in the center of your screen. Just click the blue join with computer audio button. Essentially, that means you'll be able to speak and be audible as soon as you go into this meeting room. And then you'll see a brief notification confirming that your audio is switched on. No swearing from now on, please. To invite your first participant, move your cursor down to the bottom of the Zoom window and in the black taskbar that appears, click the Manage Participants button. That shows a Participants panel on the right-hand side. Notice I'm the host, so that gives me some extra commands and controls that the participants I invite won't have. My microphone levels are going up or down as I speak, and the movie camera icon indicates that my webcam is switched on. Now, down at the bottom of the Participants panel, there's an Invite button. I'm going to click on that to invite my first participant. Now, in the Invite People to Join Meeting dialog box, you've got a choice. If you set up Contacts, they'll appear in the Contacts panel. Using Contacts is a quick and efficient way to invite participants you frequently meet with to your meeting. I cover setting up a contact in a separate tutorial. There's a link to this tutorial in the Show More section below the description below this video tutorial. I'm going to assume that you haven't yet set up any contacts, so I'll click the Email button. Now I've got a choice of email clients that I can use. Default, for example, might send out the email invite using Outlook, if that's the default email client on my computer. You may find that if you use your default email or any of the other options, Gmail or Yahoo Mail, that you have to log in to your email client. It's important to note that to log into your email client, you will need to enter your email address and the password that you always use for email, not your Zoom password, it's your email password. Gmail is the easiest and smoothest option for me on the laptop I'm working on. So I'll click the Gmail button. That launches, in my example, my browser. 
Microsoft Edge, which wasn't running before. It gives me a standard new email window with, very importantly, the Join Zoom Meeting link that your invitee will need to click on. Now, all I need to do is to enter an email address or addresses in the to or recipients line. And when I'm ready, I'll click the send button. I'll say yes to close down the Microsoft Edge page. And now sit back and wait for my invitees to click their link and come into my meeting waiting room. Job done. And here they are. Hmm. Shall I let them in straight away? Or shall I make them wait? Build up their anticipation a bit. Better let them in. The clock is ticking. Thanks for watching. Please come back and watch more of my Zoom tutorials. Please like the like if you like to like, and even better still, subscribe. Hope to see you soon.